your right hand. Plaintiffs Robert Henderson and Sean Shivers are suing for a performance deposit. Defendant Michael Blackson says he sent two qualified comics in his place. You two first. Which one of you wants to speak? I'll start off, Your Honor. All right, you are Mr. Shivers. Shivers. Yes, right. sir. Sir, please proceed. All right. Uh, first off, I'd just like to say that uh, the event was supposed to start. Well, the purpose of it was for IU. It's, it was Little 500, which is an official uh, bike race that's been going on a tradition at our school. So usually people have events. What was the school? Uh, the, event, the school is Indiana University. And Indiana University. Yes, we typically have uh, concerts or Bloomington. Yes, Bloomington, Indiana, IU, the Hoosiers. Mm -hmm. All right, and with our event, it was just to do something different for the community, just a night of laughter for them. And uh, our person, the person we wanted to go with this year was uh, Michael Blackson. And, you know, he's pretty popular. recognize the name. Go ahead. Oh, yes, yes. He's pretty popular in uh, the community with the college students, you know, with him being in a movie and um, because, you know, everyone knows his face. And um, we, were talk we were talking to Mr. Blackson about a couple, a couple months out before, you know, we decided to go ahead and do the contract. And so we asked Mr. Blackson if he could get us another comedian because we already had a host. And that's what he did for us. He was supposed to be the headliner, but, you know, he ended up not showing. So. Joe Torrey. All right. And we, uh, we added, he added Joe Torrey for us, and we provided the host. So... And you also allege that Mr. Tory and Mr. Bell, they showed up well, somewhat later than scheduled. Yes, the show was scheduled to start at 7 p.m. They didn't get there no, no, until not, about hold 7 p.m. Hold on a second. All right, they, they didn't get there until about 7 p.m. And uh, it was kind of chaos because the mm -hmm. manager at the theater was looking for us, but we were out trying to gather them because they were late. So when we got there, it was chaos with them and trying to get them on stage. They were like basically demanding the money as we were announcing them. As yes, the you also allege it got counterproductive when you, the lights came on and you were tendering the yes. <laughs> payment to them. All yes. right, now you're requesting a refund of your deposit of $2,400, the cost of the venue $1,720 and reimbursement for the advertisement expenses in the amount of $942.10. Yes. Did you actually clear anything on this uh, occasion? We, I didn't even calculate it, honestly. We no lost, money? No, we lost out a lot. All right, let's go to the defendant. Sir, how do you say? Your Honor, I mean, first and foremost, I should have known how to do business with him. Coming wow, in. Oh, come on. I come mean, on. come what, in with his Walmart case? suit on. You know what I mean? And, uh, what's wrong with a suit? I don't have a problem with a suit. It just, you know, it like it's So Easter what's wrong with that? It's like an Easter suit from three years ago. I don't know. So what? It looks okay. You don't I, worry about the style. He wore case? a suit. Looks all right. Looks fine. He got, he, can I tell my case? He decided now, to go with you the Chris. editorialized, no, no, no. so, I mean, I asked you a question. <laughs> you just went off and asked a response to the editorial, young man. You know, view of the newspaper, counter view. It means that you can be about your business doing what you do without causing anybody to Joe, Joe, get in. Don't call me Joe. You don't Jack, know me that Jack. well. Where you get off of that at your age? Bad way, son, to start your day. You know my business, all right? Are, we, this, are these a jury? What are these people? I mean, they're laughing. Isn't that what you want as a comedian? You got them going. <laughs> We'll be back with more Judge Joe. Provided them with the contract, yes? Yes, I did. Looks like your standard contract. It is. I mean... All right, sir. Did you read Provision 8 of your contract? What does it say? It's your contract. <laughs> you don't have it? I mean, I didn't feel like I needed it. I mean, I'm sure they got a bunch of copies. It's right on the screen. Artist has the right to cancel this show 15 days prior to engagement and will reschedule with promoter in a timely manner. Refund deposit in full or orchestrate a replacement comic of comparable caliber and notoriety. Bingo. That's 15 days prior to. You called the night before. I could send a replacement. Yeah, but you have to call them 15 days beforehand. That's got to do with the flyers. Last minute. I what? had something more important that came up last minute. I had a TV show. To That's do a problem. A you made an election. Sometimes you have to pay. Your Honor, they accepted the replacements. Once you accept it, 
There it is. Did they have any choice the <laughs> night before? They've got all these flyers out. They've got irate clientele. They can accept it and then bring me to court. They've got a, oh, that's a parachute. Better, better it's it's like me. this plane is going down in flames. Bam, boom, oh, yeah. The canopy is opening. I'm floating to the ground. Your Honor, I send them two comedians, two for the price of one. Buy one, get one free. Okay, what more do they want? It's the name of the game. I send them comedian that's just as, just as popular as I am, and, I, and, and they accepted oh, it. Oh, come on, they're not. Not at all. What? Did anybody no. ask for their money back? No. They still got the same, whether I was there or not, nothing changed. The reason it changed was the... Uh, was the part people, of people their contention is a lot of people turned around at the door, yeah. walked off, yeah. wanted their money back, or didn't yeah. buy the ticket when they After. found out that the venue was no longer featuring you. I, 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 I don't feel I'm wrong in any way. If I was wrong anyway, I'd take a checkbook, I'd write them a check, I'd write you a check just for being in front of I me. I don't want a check. <laughs> I mean, I thought but I was the doing two them a standing favor. to your immediate right, they want a check. It happens every day. So the fans got disappointed. Your Honor, things happen. This is, what I had to do was more important to me than... Well, and you pay for it. <laughs> the $1,720 you were going to have to deal with anyway, a venue. If he would have canceled beforehand, we could have refund, we could have got our money refunded from the venue. Exactly. I gave him another option. When the show starts, call me on the phone and I could... Before. Call me on the phone and I'll tell some jokes through the phone. I mean, <laughs> they knew they had three comedians for the price of one. That's a good joke. It was okay, but it's not gonna get it. So you get your award. Pursuing and the use United that money States. and get a new suit. Well, <laughs> you get your award. Five in your cost. Thank you, Honor. Ms. Courtney is now in recess.